Hello, you amazing person, and welcome. My name is Rob, I'm Am the Manic Gaming Guy. Today, I'm going to show you how to export your car from automation to Blender, and then to BeamNG with all your textures that have come from automation. The car's gonna be as it was, through Blender to BeamNG, and with any alterations that you make, will also be there so let's get started shall we for my simple tutorial i'm going to keep the car basic i've not done very much morphing or prop placement all i wanted to make sure i had on there were the headlights and the tail lights i probably could put my indicators here as well um i see that's not a bad idea da, da, da. don't have to do anything special just plop them in now one of the reasons i've done this is because i want the uh, how do you say i want the textures i want the indicate textures and red light textures and white textures and the paint texture and the black bumper texture because that is all going to be usable later on in volanda any other things you want maybe you don't want to stick them on now i recommend maybe sticking them on and um hide them somewhere in the car maybe you want some extra panel colored materials you can uh, easily, uh, what would I say, get one of these, put these somewhere in the car, change the colour of it that you want, and it will be there later on for editing. It is a little bit tricky, but it is doable. Like I said, I just made a perfect normal front engine um, hatchback. Nothing special about this car whatsoever. I haven't done any of the coding, but I'm pretty sure if I was to do the coding, it would also transfer over as well. Um, yeah, so that's basically about it. So what you want to do from here after making your car, I recommend keep it basic. Maybe you've already got one. If you've already got one, I recommend cloning it and uh, just change it. Oh, we didn't mean to do that. Just change the name a little bit just so it doesn't actually um, ruin any previous attempts or maybe you've made a perfectly good car and you don't want to ruin it and you want to compare them or something like that. I recommend just making a, a duplicate of the car. Now, when you've done that, you want to be going over to your export file and exporting the car as it is. Uh, you don't have to change anything. Imagine collapsing livery would be pretty useful if you're doing a custom paint job. But uh, I'm not doing that right now. And it's not something we're going to exp explain in this tutorial. I will give you some pointers and tips along the way. But... Um, yeah, we're not going too extreme on the detail of the car and things. It's mainly more or less just to show you how it is done. So you've gone into automation, you've made your car. I want you now to export it to BeamNG. And once you've done that, I want you to open up BeamNG and I'll see you over there. Okay, here we are in my BeamNG.drive. You don't need to open up any maps for this. All I want you to do is go to your repository, find your mods manager, and in this list, you want to find the mod that you just made or the one that you want to export into Blender. You want to click on it and then unpack. The reason you're unpacking the mod is because at the moment it's in the zip file and we want it all to be open so we can find it when we're in Blender. And that's it. That's this part of the video over. Well, not the video, sorry. Yeah, the video. This is this section of the video over. We're now going to go into a Blender and open up the car. And here we are, the third program we've opened, but hopefully not taking you too long. This is Blender. I am hoping you guys have got some sort of concept of what you're doing in here. This isn't a blended tutorial or necessarily an automation or beam and G tutorial. It's a bit of a mix of how to get them all to work together. So uh, what I'd like to do is just get rid of all these and we're going to import our .dae file. Okay, hopefully my editing's done pretty well here. We're now actually in this file location. You can find your files in exactly the same place, as long as you've not changed anything in your computer. And what we're going to be looking for is the mod that we've just unpacked. So we click on mods, and then we're going to be looking for unpacked. 
And then we're going to be looking for the card that we named. Mine's called Manic. But on Manic, boom, Manic. And then Blender to It's the card I made. You look for your name. Uh, and then the card you gave, the name you gave to the card. And then the secondary, you know, whatever the tag card name is. And we're going to open that. No, we're not. We go. We're going to open this. And then we want to click on Vehicles. Manic Blender 2. And you get these four files. We want the one with lots of random letters no space thing that's engine space blah 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 we just want the letters uh, that mesh has your exhaust and engine in if you're not planning to touch them just leave it but the one we want is this one body mesh d a e and it will have the the random letters that we had and we just want to import and there you go you've imported the car and now you're wondering but well, it's all the wrong color it's just completely blacked out which is fine there's no problems with that. If you go into render mode, it's exactly the same. It doesn't really want to pick up the materials. But if I was to re-export this car to BeamNG, it would still have all its, its materials. But it's fine because all the materials that we want are still inside the file that we got this from. If we click on, say, something like um, here. Come on, no, on the face, sorry. We click on this face now and click on materials. We've got a list of materials here it's calling to. Even though the picture's not showing, they are there. It says car paint. There we go. So we've got car paint. This one, car paint. I believe I click on something down here. We've you know, got some plastic. We click on here. That's the working glass. Um, that's working glass. That's the indicator. I've not fully worked all of it out. You might have to do some experimenting. But basically, if you want the materials, they are there. They're just not showing. So if I do some alterations, let's say I want to extend this down. Uh, I probably shouldn't have grabbed that much. Uh, yeah, that would do. Uh, how do I do this again? G and Z. Say if I want to just extend this down. <laughs> okay, maybe bad example. That's going to look really bad. Um, we'll do the wing because it's it's something I can fix quite easily. Let's say we wanted a ridiculously big wing. There we go. We're now going to save the file. We're going to export the car now as a .dae file. And we're going to find the original place we got this car from. Okay, so I found the original place I got the car from. I'm actually going to click on the car name. It's going to come up red. And I'm going to replace this .ae with my one. There we go. Any alterations I've done now will be in BeamNG. But a quick little chat. You may have noticed wheels are missing and we've got some stuff going on here. Probably don't move that. There's going to be code behind it. And they will get put in the place they're meant to be put later on. Um, so just don't touch them. If we want to change them, leave it to me to work it out. And I'll make a new tutorial more in depth about this. But for now, let's see the damage we've done to the wing in BeamNG. Okay, we're in BeamNG now. We're just going to open up the small grid map reason being it's the quickest to load up there's nothing there in the map so there's not many files for it to think about uh, apart from my computer will have a little freak out anyway as it tends to do that but once we finally get in here and it's load up the map once we finally have i broke the game already oh, okay it's loading so i thought the game had crashed then so when we get in here we're gonna load up the car and have a little look at the damage that we've done to it and um yeah and prove that it still works and the textures are still there that's mainly the case and what i recommend is you um probably leave if your pc can handle it is leave blender open and leave bmg open and every time you do alterations and export the car it will update in bmg without having to restart the game so here we go let's see the damage we've done to the car the picture hasn't changed we'll have to take a new picture and change the picture in the file for it to match the one we've done because obviously automation takes the picture for us um, but that was before we'd done any damage to the car i like this crazy spoiler extension <laughs> but uh yeah you obviously have to use blender properly and do all your panel adjustments uh, tidily and tastefully but that's how you do it that's how you export your car to blender and then Alter it so it still works in BeamNG. Have you noticed also the textures have changed? Because when I extended it, the new panels it made, it just kept the same material on there. 
the happy days. If I was to add a new cube and try and stick it on there, I think I'd have to use Blender in some way to apply the, whatever paint or black plastic I'm going to apply to it within Blender and export it again. But there you go, all the lights do still work. Um, I have tested, why well, have I gone into traffic? I have tested um, moving the lights about. They do still work, but I imagine we do need to do some thinking because these are 3D objects. If I took this glass panel away, the light that's working is actually inside. There'd be something in there that's got code written on it that is activating as a light. And you could probably use them, use that sort of technology and code but later on in the end future to put like some underglow lights on or something or some sirens. But that would me for now that's my tutorial anything i've missed just drop it in the comments and i will do my best to uh tell you what the outcome could be this is the first time i've done this uh i was quite amazed and quite happy so i thought i'll share it with the world it took me a little bit of a while to get there there's no proper video out so well done to you if you've managed to find this one don't forget to watch it all the way through give it a like and subscribe for more content and to help it get around um next time up Maybe we'll be doing pop-up headlights that actually fit to the bumper. Pop-up headlights on any car model. I don't know. You let me know if there's anything I need to do and teach you guys about. I also want to do my own full customized car next. Because I've only ever done an automation mod. I think soon it's going to be automation plus blender mod. I do like doing it that way. It's a bit of a short code you know, short way, quick way, so we say shortcut, that's the word, shortcut, to get rid of all the code. This, I, I haven't done any coding yet, and the car works fine. Look, I can put it in a drive, and the car's gonna go perfectly fine, stop perfectly fine, and steer perfectly fine. Um, obviously, uh, there's, there's, we have missed some sort of subject out here, that's J-beam. The J-beam will not match um, when you change the car. So you will, have to go back into Blender um, and export the J beam, which is also in that file, over to Blender. But we'll save that for another de video because for now, you'll probably be happy that you can get your cars into Blender, customize them, and export them over to here. Good luck, and maybe let me see your creations. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Keep it real, stay safe, and share that love. Bye bye.